today I'm going to be doing a watercolor demonstration. I'm going to be painting something different than uh, usual. I'm going to be painting an actual scene from real life with people. And it's going to be this picture right here. So uh, I'm just going to start sketching, basically. I'm going to start the... Uh, Start with the floor, maybe, of the airport. Uh, I guess I'll just put that right about there. I hope you can see that, actually. You should be able to see that. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. So that is the floor of the airport. And the sunset's going to be in this general area right here. And, um, this is going to be the top part of the airport. Alright, I'm back. I've got a nice fresh cup of coffee. And uh, I'm going to start drawing these people. I'm going to start with the chairs. When I took this picture, when I first took it, I wasn't thinking about painting it. And so I didn't get the greatest picture of it. So I kind of have to invent some things in it. Like I didn't get a picture of the floor or even the people's legs for that matter. So I only have the pictures of people from their, their uh, waist up. I think I'll put one more chair right here. Actually, this is only the back row of chairs. I still have the chairs coming down the aisle. <laughs> Dang. I really wish I got a better picture. That's a little high or low. Alright, I think that's about where the floor is going to start, like the bottom of the chairs, the top line. <sighs> I don't draw scenes like this often. That's the, um, this thing in the back is like the, the platform tunnel thing that connects the airport to the airplane, you know? This is a very experimental painting for me. I really have no idea how this is going to turn out. I'm just starting in with the uh, bodies now. That's not bad. That's pretty good actually. Nice. First, first dude done, and then there's a, a lady with a baby right here. She has a hat on. Here. 
first jump. There's the baby. For it being so long since I've drawn people, I'd say this is pretty good. And I'm not going for a ton of detail here. I'm kind of just, um, I want to get the shapes of them. I'm not going to do any detail in color or anything. And then this guy in the corner right here is uh, fixing his hair or something. His hands are up here. And actually the uh, the other chairs cut off his body right here. So I'm going to start these. That was a little dark. And a little low of an angle. So there's one lady in the foreground, that's going to be this area right here. And this lady's going to be a little bigger. I don't have her whole body, so it's going to be kind of an abstraction, I guess. I'm just making the seat bottoms over here. I think that's about all I'm going to do for this lady right here. Because it's not going to be super detailed anyways. I think it's just going to be a flat blue, maybe. Not entirely sure yet. We will work it out as we go. But I've got the floor kind of basically put in there. Just a couple lines for the floor, really. Um, I've got the seats put in over here. Hmm, I was thinking, um, <clears throat> I don't have a picture of the floor from this part down. But I was thinking, since it is an airport... I bet um, some suitcases or like backpacks would probably look good in this area. I don't know if I'll end up doing that, but I thought about it and it seemed pretty cool. So now I'm probably going to um, just put it in the sunset very basically. Just uh, sketching out very lightly what light looks like. I'm going to find a different pencil first though because it's a little bit too dark. Okay, so I could not find a lighter pencil but I can also just draw with less pressure. So I'm just going to start in with the sunset right here. I'm going to do it very basically just uh, outline the shapes of light and the shapes of dark so like where the sun is going to be brightest and I'll probably just leave that so a lot of this area is probably going to stay white So still got one more dude to draw. <laughs> I also think I am going to do a suitcase or something in this area.
All right. That oh, looks good. And maybe a little backpack over here. Just slumped against the seat. I am just drawing the armrests now in between the chairs. And I'm going to draw just the bottom of the chairs really quick. Alright, I am liking that. So that's what it looks like from a little further away. It looks like an airport. Cool. Alright, I think it might be about time to start painting. So I might erase the lines just a tiny bit so they're not as dark and then uh, I'm gonna get the painting stuff ready so I'm gonna erase these lines just a little bit and uh, I'm gonna start with the sunset area <coughs> I think I might start with a very light yellow, first of all. And I think I am going to test my colors for this one. Because I am using, uh, I'm using the Arches Hot Press. Cold Press, actually. Arches Cold Press. Oh yeah. I think I'm actually going to erase this a little bit more. Because uh, where the sun is, is basically like a white. So I don't want the gray lines right there. <clears throat> I'm going to start by just wetting the area right here. Going to yellow around it basically. I did not have any paper towels ready to go. <laughs> that was my mistake. <laughs> that is pretty much the brightest area of the painting right there where the sun is I'm gonna go in with some deeper yellows around it <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna use a phthalo blue very lightly for the sky very light phthalo blue. Maybe mix with some yellow, but not enough yellow to make it green. Maybe a tiny bit of red too. Actually, going to use a bigger brush for this area. You kind of have to be fast with watercolor because it does dry quickly on you.
All right. Now I think I'm going to start going in with the blue. And I'm going to use a bigger brush for the blue because it's a bigger area. A sunset that good. <laughs> and once that dries, I think I'm going to add the clouds. Once that dries, I am going to uh, go in with people. So this is dry now, and I'm actually going to do the sky, or uh, the clouds, before I do the uh, people. The clouds. I'm not totally sure how I'm going to do them. They're kind of like a purplish blue. But where the sun is, there's a bright orange ring. Because it lights them up. Sorry about that loud car on my street. <laughs> Actually, I might add a little bit more yellow. In the picture there is some airplane stuff, like above the, the thing up here, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put that in there. start the floor now. <clears throat> I'm not 
too sure what color to do that. I know what I want to do is um, I want to do bright blues, reds, yellows, and oranges for all of the this part. So I might do some yellows maybe in the floor. kind of like that. I don't know how much I like a backpack, but I can't really change it now, so I'll just have to fix it somehow. So I am going to go in with some dark blues for the chairs right here. Oof. That was big. That was too big for the chair. I need the smaller brush. I do like how this is looking so far. And I'm I definitely want to make all of this one layer right here. so dark. <laughs> but um, it works because I don't really know what it looks like anyways. So that's why I kind of wanted to mix her with just uh, the suitcase right here. So I actually might just make it kind of black. Alright, so I'm going in with these people. And they are going to be bright red. I might make the uh, lower parts of them more purplish. Not there because that kind of fades too much into the... That actually took much less time than I expected it to. It's pretty impressionistic though. But I really like it so far. I might add a little more to the chair there, there. Now I gotta do this last guy right here. I think I'm gonna make a shirt. 
maybe a yellowish, yellow greenish. <clears throat> I can't see his legs either, really, because this woman is blocking him. Do some red. There's the top of the suitcase, and it connects all of the figures together. Hmm. Now I have to do um, the window, and I'm I'm not sure if I should do this in like a blue or like an orange red blue I'm gonna go blue Not the straightest line in the world. I don't know how much I like uh, the brown. I might stick with the blue. Ooh, I don't even know how I'm going to do these lines. These tiny window pane lines. Oof. <laughs> That's good enough. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Oh my gosh. This is rough. Turn it upside down to do this. Oh no. <laughs> so I might have missed that. But I barely got these lines. And I have to do two more up here. That one wasn't terrible. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. Oh my gosh. Every time I do something to it, I make it worse. One more. <laughs> Okay, I might have found the way to do it, but I also put that one in the totally wrong spot. <laughs> Dang. That's alright. Okay, that might make it look a little bit better. That's the end of this painting. That's how it turned out. I'll get some close-up shots of it. <clears throat>